Sicily is warm. 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 Hot. So neat. It's the same as warm. Warm, lovely, and um, can, can you cut it? Beautiful. Beautiful? As I'm in Palestine, it's the same. Relaxed comfortable and very passionate black because it was so incredible to see the black sand of Etna everywhere I didn't realize it until two or three days after I arrived I was like what wait a minute this is from the volcano I like the the black uh, dust everywhere <laughs> uh, yes we don't have the this time and of Etna magic diversity and matching. I think every ethno is, is different. For ethno, I would say intense, emotional and widening. Everybody! This arrangement has a part with metal music. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a very good arrangement to, to, to play heavy metal. I didn't know that I would, I would play heavy metal one time, so it was my first time here and I think it was yeah, a, sur a surprise for me. I speak German, but I don't understand a lot uh, of this uh, of this piece because it's uh, in, a, in a dialect. We learn a lot of different languages during this one week. We have um, like in this in this ethno in 2021 we have 12 languages. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's a lot of languages you have to kind of see and uh, a lot of different dialects and whatnot. Um, but it's all by ear and it makes it uh, somehow you train your ear in a different way, very intensely. Rinsha, 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 Rinsha. Box music was communicated from generation to generation in this way before, and I think without a paper in front of me. Making the melody from from my inside, and I guess it's I, I'm expressing myself uh, completely. During ethno at activities, we can meet uh, a lot of instruments and and cultures, and also the music, and we mix. Or we use, we play our instrument to different genders of music.
Milano, Sicily, 2021. <laughs> We are at Alcantara Fest 2021. Uh, we are in Pisano, Zafferana, Sicily, under the slope of Etna and under the uh, dust that is covering us. We are at Etno Sicily uh, performance just before the beginning. They are practicing. They cannot stay. They cannot stop. The energy is too much. Pina asks me if I can play like a milonga because she, she really likes milonga feeling and it matched really well with the song, with that part because it's like uh, someone that is asking God help and God said that Please Jesus Christ destroy all the masters and Jesus You can help yourself uh, do it, uh, show your teeth. Who help his, himself is the only one that who can uh, uh, fight against the masters. Uh, I cannot help you. And so the milonga like, is, creates like a dark atmosphere and mystery. Uh, yeah, so she told me and I said, yes, it can go and we played it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's, it's, it starts, I think it starts. Can you please make it start? I will have you from the top. So one of the most important things of Ethno is the way we teach and the way we learn. And it's all by ear. So um, you say something, uh, either a melody or words from your language, and then the participants are repeating. Yes, to be playing without notes is for me a big challenge because I started playing by reading notes. So once I, I don't have a paper in front of me, I feel I felt scared. Yes, and it will be easier with the orchestra playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can we do it for the last time? Yes. Or? Yes. But I like how it sounds. Mm -hmm. Um. Well. And this is basically what we do the whole day. We repeat and repeat and listen and repeat. And it has, a, it's really cool because, um, well, for some people it's super hard because they're used to reading sheet music. For other people it goes really fast. But during the ethno you already realize that you learn much faster than when you started the first day. It's, that's really interesting. I think it now is a good opportunity for uh, musicians uh, to know more about the all instruments, uh, Eastern, Western, uh, from anywhere, uh, dances, languages.
This is probably my maybe around 10th ethno. I don't really count. I haven't got the count, but more or less. So my name is Luna Bülow Erşahin. I'm mixed. My father's from Turkey and my mom's from Denmark. And uh, I'm one of the leaders of Ethno Sicily 2021. My name is Melanie. I come from France. And it's the second time I'm coming to Ethno Sicily because uh, I was there two years ago to, as a participant. But this year I'm the leader. It's my first Ethno. I'm so happy to be here to share my music and to learn. Yes, this is my first Ethno. This is my seventh Ethno, I think. I play Kanon. His instrument is like uh, the harp, but uh, it's uh, like. Uh, it's an Eastern uh, uh, Arabian Turkish uh, instrument. I have to tune them every day, <laughs> maybe twice. It depends on the weather, and there's a skin here, so it goes up and yeah. And I tune the strings by this, like. During ethno activities, we can meet uh, a lot of instruments and and cultures. This instrument is not very common. I started playing the sopran clarinet, like most of the clarinet players. But uh, my clarinet teacher, he had a bass clarinet. When I heard it, I fell in love with this instrument and, and it's, I guess it's my favorite, my favorite instrument because it has a lot of power in the laws. This instrument is called Dolsaina, it's typical of the community Valencian and it has to do with this song because during the dictator all the regional languages like the Valencian, the Gallego and the Euskera have been prohibited. My instrument of lotta and rebellion. It's from Palestine. Yeah! It's gonna be uh, two uh, songs. We've been practicing ah, ah, all day. 
uh, and we've been practicing uh, the quarter note. So um, I hope uh, I hope Muhammad is uh, satisfied with us. Second voice. Are you my... Hello. Ah, okay. Mira. Okay. Se ve fino? Que en tus manos se queda yeah. mejor, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> no, pero queremos, queremos. Ah. Sí. ¿Ya se dominante? No, son menor. I like the. We just had the final rehearsal, and it was like, like if the volcano was erupting. Uh, also, the thing that you can hear at night, the, the sound of the volcano sometimes, like While we are playing here, we hear the volcano. So, uh, like, it's uh, more energetic. Like, yeah, there's a volcano here and we are playing music, it's fine. <laughs> yes, but I'm not used to... There's a volcano here, and it may explodes. And uh, I think it's yeah inspiring for songs, for music, uh, the sound, the atmosphere that creates this. <laughs> it's really inspiring because uh, you can think it as a metaphor of what we are doing here, like a uh, volcano is like cooking something and then it fumes. And uh, so here we first meet each other and started to create that uh, warming our, our hearts. <laughs> I think that the, the folk music in every country is never is going to um, disappear because uh, it's being played every time on the street, and in the houses, in the, in the parties. The Edna Festival for sure helps to to find uh, a way, a uh, motivation to, to share this music and to learn it. Because I'd say if I would be playing just classical music, uh, maybe I, don't, I wouldn't uh, spend time on, on learning my folk music, but if I come to an ethno, I will show an, an a folk music from, from my country. That's why it's a motivation probably to, 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 to learn this and to learn where, it, where does it come from and why. And that's what, 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 what we are actually explaining. We're not only showing how to play, but what does it mean, what does it mean for us and, and how important it is for us. Definitely the Edno had a lot as a motivation for our for getting deep in touch with our own music. 